A uh, short little video of my RV7A, November 567 Alpha. Just uh, finishing up the condition inspection, putting it all back together. Uh, this is a uh, 0360 uh, carbureted Lycoming engine, 180 horsepower. Swing in a real nice uh, Hartzell constant speed prop. It's got 410 hours total time. Uh, again, just getting it uh, finished up here. So I'll give you a little, little walk around. Nice wheel pants. Nice uh, wheeling strobes, landing lights. Real nice paint, real nice paint on the airplane. Embedded teardrop. Cal hinge pin retainers, nice Hartwell latch on the oil door, stainless screws, good windscreen, nice plexi all the way around, polished rails, real nice fiberglass work in here, nice and smooth, good good uh, fit and finish on the cowls and spinner, nice spinner gap there. Polished engraved fuel caps. AOA. Like perfect rigging. Really flies nice. Flies super great, great gentleman's aerobatics. Again, the paint is really nice paint on it. Belly's nice and clean. Boxed in flanges on the horizontal stab and the elevators are all boxed in real nice as well. Service bulletin is done on the, uh, well, all the service bulletins are done over here on the uh, forward spar, the horizontal stab. And then from under here, right here, you'll see a little plug that I drilled for the bottom, through the bottom for the uh, 0036. Service bulletin, no cracks or anything there. Real nice steps, no cracking in the steps. Good slider, nice little pro sealed seam around here. Good clean plexi, again, polished rails. Uh, basic uh, day night VFR panel, autopilot. Uh, autopilot works uh, the, off of the 396. Or the 740B. 740B has all your ADSB in and out displays there. Grand Rapids uh, EIS and uh, engine monitor. Uh, you can light switch down here for cabin lights. Nice little armrest console. Leather. Classic aero seats, side panels, nice carpeting throughout, and air fuel selector valve, nice wood grips, push to talk in the front, trim up and down, autopilot disconnect here. Uh, I just put in, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I just put in Alan Nemo's anti-splat 
um, easy exit bar. And boy, is that nice. Uh, I can't believe I've been flying all these years without that. And I'm getting a little bit older now. But that is really nice. Got brake pedals here. You can easily add them on the other side for just a few dollars. Maybe I already have the master cylinders at the house. True Jack Autopilot AOA. Again, autopilot switch for 296 or for the iFly. And you can operate the... Uh, Jeep or the autopilot from the head or from the EFA screen here, okay, and your trim displays are there. I usually keep that on uh, GPS. Um, climb in here, nice handles to get in and out, too. Those are great. I'm not a glove box guy, but man, this is the nicest little glove box on in town. And you just give a little push and a little push really sweet little glove box switch for the adsb here hobbs meter over here engine monitor here sl30 radio sl or not sl um a 327 transponder heat uh, flap switch here you can see all the switch we got wig wag lights and uh got mag um uh, light speed uh, mag on the right side with a trigger sensor, crank trigger on that, light speed headsets. Just put new batteries in the ELT an hour or so ago. Canopy slides, really smooth, really, really nice. Got the Koger sun shade up here. Again, real nice paint, good fit and finish on everything. Painted the bezels here and on the uh, wingtips, cool end number two, a little bug there. Cool end number two, when you're coming in landing uh, RV7 Alpha inbound and that's uh, seven Alpha. Same thing, all boxed in. So there you have it. In the hangar view, of RV-7A, November 567 Alpha. Oh, it's uh, got about, um, I think I said earlier, 410 hours. Total time, everything, engine, prop, and uh, and uh, airframe. Uh, compressions, just did those, uh, 78, 79, 79, 78, over 80. Just checked the cylinders with a bore scope. Nice hatch marks, uh, good clean uh, exhaust valves, intake valves, they're, they're nice as well. So there you have it.